High five, fly fast, Ralphie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what an intro that will be. Carl Deal noted dick. Yes. Noted dick Carl Deal. So we are back after a w- gave him too much of an ego. Yeah, after after a yeah, we, we pushed him too fast. You know what I mean? We gave him too much too early. You see that gif of the Jade Golem I sent you on Discord recently? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Vince McMahon spliced him? Yeah. yeah. Nobody will understand that though. No, people who, who like who, who know what a Jade Golem is well. Nobody nobody does. Everybody knows what a Jade Golem is. Oh, alright. Alright then folks, you heard it here first. Um, it's, it's my dick. Also noted Dick Mike Kyoto. God damn it, Mike. Um yeah, so we are back after a week hiatus, kind of like a week and a few days. Um, hiatus is not a hiatus; it's just the week in between the episodes that we usually take. <laughs> yeah, but but usually, but it's usually like a week though. It's been seven days. I for like three weeks, I've made it seven exact days, and now this is like Friday that we're recording it. Don't know when it's going up. Uh, probably Saturday, um, or maybe later tonight. I don't know. I'm not going to promise anything because then people will attack me in the comments and I'll be like, <laughs> and then I won't make any videos and everybody will be happy, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to drink the fuck were you talking about. Runaway joke is runaway, folks, as we are here on Monday Night Raw. It's basically what we do. We are in the XL Center in the, the Connecticut. Why are you scrolling down? Because I'm trying to figure out if it's in Connecticut. Yep. Connecticut. Yeah, if, you, if you look before the XL Center. I know. That's what uh, I, th- I thought the CT was Connecticut. I wasn't sure, though. Okay? I don't know. I'm not American. All right? I don't know America shit. Yes, you are. You're North American. Okay. Yeah, I don't need you to give me that. He's not my president, buddy. You can't force him on me. Yes, he is. Uh, so we're going to open... You learn. <laughs> we're going to open things up with Vince and Cesaro, and Vince is all like... Okay, okay, Cesaro. I gotta, I gotta bring you out here because last week you had like a helicopter, Apollo Crews like lech into my building. I saw that you, uh, y- you defecated on my desk. I, I understand this. Uh, I did not see it, but I was told that by many different people. And it, it, Cesaro, just, just come, come on out here. What, what the hell's wrong with you? And so Cesaro comes out, and Cesaro's all like, "Well, you, you, you screwed me, Vince. The thing is, the the difference between me and somebody else you may have screwed, hell, I'll just say his name, Bret Hart, is that I'm not a pussy like Bret Hart is. I'm not gonna go to another company. I'm gonna stay here, and I'm gonna make your life hell." Because, Vince, you like to say, don't cross the boss. Don't Chris the Swiss. That's that's a catchphrase. That's a catchphrase. And Cesaro says, uh, but Vince, really, if, if you did want to quell the suffering, if you wanted to make the pain simmer just that tiny bit, you'd give me what I rightfully deserve. And Vince is like, and that is, that's my best Vince voice. And Cesaro says, uh, the world championship. And Vince is like, oh, no, I'm not doing that shit. You're fucking crazy, man. You are fucking crazy. You are straight up crazy. And Cesaro's like, fine. Your move. Vince is like, what? what Yo, the? move. Vince, Vince is like, what the hell does that mean? Does, isn't saying no my move? Cesaro's like, you just wasted your move. Explaining that you thought that was... You know what? No, no, Vince. No, just... I'll see you around, buddy. Yeah, but in the, in the comms are like, what the fuck just happened? He's like, the writing was pretty good. And then halfway through, it's like... The writers got drunk or something. Who knows what's happening anymore, folks? Writers? Monday Night Raw. I really hope this show doesn't have writers. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a shame, especially after the writer's strike. I, mean, I, I started like treating writers with respect. <laughs> I, I couldn't do that if this show had writers. <laughs> And so we uh, we promote that in the main event tonight, the Brotherhood will defend their World Tag Team Championships against the Hype Bros. Yep, that's that's a gimmick. 
And we head right into our first match of the evening. Braun Strowman defeats Rob Conway. Rob Conway outworks Braun. <laughs> Braun in, th- in 40 seconds. Braun, like, gets gassed around, like, the five-second mark. And then Conway starts, like, you know, like, chain grappling around him. He, like, grabs the torso, flips around to the arm. And then Braun is like, the fuck you doing? And just drops him on his face. I feel like you have to take responsibility for Smash Wrestling doing a Rebecca Black Friday sale today. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I apologize. I'm You are of the Canada. North and you've got to deal with that. Um, so the Miz is backstage and he says, whoa, 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 mi- mi- uh, not Miz. Whoa, whoa, Vince, Vince, Vince. You, you, okay, hold on. First of all, do, you do not give in to Cesaro. Don't do not do that, okay? You're, you're not doing that, all right? Sec, second of all, what, what the hell are you talking about? You've got another guy who could contend for the world title. Another guy? I'm the only guy you need, baby girl. And Vince is like, whoa. I'm Look, interested. Apparently I screwed he's like, I'm Cesaro interested. Recently. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I've already got Cesaro. I've got that, like, heart guy going on about something in Canada. I don't know. I All I know, I didn't give him any STDs. That was his doing. Uh, he isn't the one with the STDs. He's got, like, cancer or something. Who knows? Um, and so Miz says, uh, no, Vince, Vince, you told me I was getting a title shot. I'm getting a title shot. And then Maurice chimes in with, yeah, he's getting a title shot. That was not a French accent at all. I didn't try any accent. I think no, I... No, she dropped the French accent. She was like, yeah, he's getting a title shot. Fuck, <laughs> he's, you. He, fuck, fuck you, Vince. Fuck you. And Vince was all like, what? Yeah. Yeah. And Miz is all like, so I guess that's a yes then. And Vince is like, yeah. <laughs> and Miz is all like, what, what, what the fuck? And then, <laughs> it is explained somehow that Vince uses uses this tactic to close conversations he does not want to answer to. Are you having a stroke? (laughs) He's having a heart attack. (laughs) Somebody call an ambulance. Somebody call the ambulance. Uh, So Lana is backstage with Rusev, and tonight Rusev takes on Baron Corbin. And if um, if if Rusev wins, he's gonna get a shot at the United States Championship at an upcoming date. I don't believe it. And Lana says Rusev will crash Baron Corbin. Oh. And then Rusev Wait. Rusev says, Mashka! Oh. Yep. Oh. Yep. Okay. Uh, Hideo Tommy defeats Carl Deal. Yeah, what's the match like? Uh, well, it's like, first little bit, Carl Deal is like, working him, like, you know, like, you probably can't even see me, buddy. Ha ha! And, and then Hideo's like, the fuck? You just say that to me on live TV? What the hell is wrong with you? And then does he just Hideo kicks then do the, the Does Hideo then do the Naito thing where he like opens up his eye forcibly? <laughs> <laughs> and then he kicks his head off and it's like, oh, yeah. that's awkward. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, so Shane comes out because Shane apparently does still have power here. Power structure on Raw is very weird. It's like... When was the last time we saw Shane? Uh, when he brought in Steve Austin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's only like two weeks ago, like in-game, I think. Uh, okay. So Shane says, uh, Hideo, I-, I know you've been going on and on about uh, Dolph Ziggler, and Dolph Ziggler has done some despicable despicable things against you you know disrespecting you disrespecting the honor of professional wrestling and you know what Hideo I I I think you're right and I'm gonna give you a shot to get your retribution next week against Dolph Ziggler we got them we got them draw matches though everybody's gonna tune in to see Hideo Itami take on Dolph Ziggler I would. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Don't you lie. Sorry, I tried. <laughs> oh, this is this is this is this is the fun segment. Uh, actually, no, this like, isn't the fun. Se- this isn't the fun segment yet. Uh, so you know, this is just kind of more or less um, Tyler and Summer walking backstage. You know, being being snobbish douches. 
like, you know, Tyler, Tyler, you know, whatever is, he's with like, uh, what, are, what's the professional name for lady who sews things? A tailor. Thank you. He, he like he's he's with a tailor and he's like tailors with the Tyler and then like. Nine eleven. Well, oh, hopefully that didn't make it in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, so, anyways, Tyler is with the tailor and he's like, no, nah, I'm not wearing that. She's like, well, why? And he's like, too blue. You asked for blue. No, no, no. I asked for blue. That is medium blue. She's like, what, what the fuck does that even mean, dude? And then Summer comes by, and, you know, she, like, snap motions to him. You know, whatever. They, they're they walking along the hallway. The comms put over how uh, Tyler Breeze successfully defended the United States Championship against Shinsuke Nakamura last night at SmackDown's Great American Bash pay-per-view. However, Summer Rae was... Free uns- advertising! <laughs> Summer Rae was unsuccessful at uh, gaining the women's championship. Uh, and uh, um, they're returning to Raw in style tonight. Burn it to the ground tonight. The Young Bucks defeat Vernon McKing and Jesse Weiss. <laughs> Vernon McKing has that early onset <laughs> Alzheimer's, though. <laughs> So, yeah, the Young Bucks win with uh, early onset Alzheimer's. I'm not changing it, buddy. I shall not change it. (laughs) What do you want me to change it to? Something a little less (laughs) trigger-warning-y. More bang for your fuck? Maybe more bang for your buck. Mm. Mm. Maybe. Maybe shoot him dead. Maybe, uh... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> they win by Finn Balor located at located in the rafters at about a uh, 45 degree angle with a 40 cal and just bam right through the skull right through the eyes matter of fact and no the camera zooms silence. in on him and he smiles and goes and shrugs and goes da, 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 da. <laughs> he throws a thumb up he's like hey <laughs> that's all folks <laughs> Uh, this is just a quick unscripted promo. The club are talking. They do their thing, or the 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 ammo club, whatever the hell name I do have I, for them I, this do week. Do I get to say since it's unscripted what they said? Yes, go ahead. Finn's like, I bought some new guns this weekend because it's Black Friday, am I right? So, <laughs> in, 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 at the end of July. <laughs> yeah, at the end of July. <laughs> no, look, it, it was Independence Day a couple weeks ago. So I bought some new guns. They've just cleared. I've got, got a mini gun. He pulls it out. The crowd goes, what? <laughs> Whoa, what? Whoa, what? And then he goes, I've, I've got a new super large magazine for my assault rifle. And Nick over there got a pussy pink pistol. So overall, we're doing quite well, aren't we, lads? No, it's not. No. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> uh, and moving on, we have... Braun! I don't know what it is going to be. I don't... Oh, yes! Oh. The o- the Opalo. Apparently, the Opalo saga continues. So, um, Vince is in his office, and he's like, what the fuck, man? This this brand's going to shit already. Uh, and then uh, Apollo, Apollo comes up to Vince, and he says, Vince, I found... I found my way. Vince is like... Oh, not this shit again. No, 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 no. Apollo, I... Look, all right, I, I didn't do anything. I don't think anybody else would do it and says, no, no, Vince, this wasn't you this time. This was me. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... I'm going to run for president of Raw. Vince says, what the fuck are you talking about? There's no president of Raw. I'm the president of Raw. If there was a president of Raw, anyways, you people don't elect me. I'm like... Vince... Stalin. I don't know. <laughs> Stalin? <laughs> yeah, it's what Vince does, all right? He's going to... And, and, and Apollo says, no, 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 Vince, Vince, Vince. I, I, I've i legally changed my name. And Vince is like, what the fuck? What do you mean you legally changed your name? He says, okay, well, by legally changed my name, I mean I talked to a guy outside the building who said he could legally change my name. And Vince is like, you mean... You mean Alfred? 
yeah, you, you know Alfred? Yeah, dude, he, he washes my car. And Paul's like, oh, shit. But I don't know what that thread was in my head. I just kind of went on it. I'm like, there's a joke there. No, no, there isn't. Come back. Uh, and Apollo says, Vince, I'm going to run for president of Raw. And from now on, you will know me. You will, t- you, will, you will talk to me. You will refer to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for picking up that slack there. Uh, as Apollo Cruz. It's Zack Ryder. Woo, woo, woo. I was I was going for Ted Cruz, but that works too. Yeah, no, I mean Nathan Cruz is clearly superior Cruz. Oh yeah, yeah, I feel it, I feel it. You now need to have the Cruz brothers of Apollo and Nathan. And then Seth beats Apollo Cruz. <laughs> Apollo Cruz. Cruz, there's no check. <laughs> Cruz, Cruz. <laughs> oh Seth, oh I remember him. Yep, and so Seth no, Rollins me, me is celebrating his victory in the ring, and he's like, I'm still this company, and everybody's like, no, no, you're not. Get the fuck out of here. And Stone I'm Cold the tag team stunner. champion. Stunner. Stunner. He hits like four in a row, and it's like, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Seth still no-sells at Falcon Hour. All right, here we go. Hail to the breeze. I don't know what that means at all, but I felt like pissing it. pissing in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> and so Tyler Breeze comes out. Then Summer is, well, I guess Summer comes out. Tyler Breeze is with her. Summer fully clothed. For now. And Tyler has his belt around his shoulder. Summer is beltless. Oh. (laughs) Oh, damn. (laughs) And uh, they're in the ring. And Tyler, or actually in Summer, says, We finally returned home. And if there's one thing that I think we've both learned while being on the other brand, and and then uh, Joey Styles is just like, she means SmackDown. She's talking (laughs) about SmackDown. Catch it on Tuesday nights. Does Joey also make an inappropriate political joke? Yes. What would the inappropriate political joke be in July 2017? An inappropriate political joke in July 2017? Yeah. Man, I wish we had Obama still. That doesn't sound like Joey Styles. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah. That's a reasonable opinion. Yeah, no, but I feel like Trump's America. You say that shit, you're going to get fucked up, boy. They're going to mess you up. Because that's Trump's America. He does what he wants. By this point, do they have the Gustavo? Yes. I just realized the fate of this series has changed forever. There's now, like, Nazi underlinings of everything. That Ev- been Nazi underlinings. Not at all. <laughs> Heil, Daniel Bryan. <laughs> Heil. <laughs> Heil. <laughs> and Vince Stalin over here with his red curtain. His red iron curtain. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. New Japan. Oh. <laughs> New Japan is the United States. They're just getting fucked. <laughs> Like, it's, it's an alt history. Yep. And, and Tyler says, uh, Tyler says, and I defeated Shinsuke Nakamura. And, man, honestly, when I heard people talk about Shinsuke Nakamura, like, he was some kind of wrestling god. And Wait, did he just say he defeated Shinsuke Nakamura? Yeah. He lost by DQ. <laughs> he has the belt, doesn't he? Yeah, but he didn't win the he match. Defeated he defeated Shinsuke Nakamura. Him. The Rango book shows Shinsuke Nakamura defeat Tyler Breeze via DQ. Yeah, I agree with that. But not in Tyler Breeze's mind, it don't. That's weird. I will go to the ends of the earth to make sure I am not incorrect. <laughs> and Tyler says, I, I heard everybody talk about how Shinsuke was this great figure in professional wrestling. And honestly... No, he's not. I, I can tell you right now, any night, I can beat Nakamura Rising Sun hits. And it's like, oh, 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 uh, oh, uh, 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 what the fuck? What, what, what? Tyler Breeze and Summer Rae, like, hoof it the 
fuck out of there. They're like, nope, 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 nope. And then... By the way, Shinsuke's comment theme right now is uh, subconscious. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh. And then, uh... <laughs> and then the theme stops. And Shinsuke doesn't come out. And Tyler's oh, like... fucking troll. And Tyler's like, what the fuck? And so, yeah, here you have Shinsuke, like, deking out Tyler. Maybe Shinsuke's here. Like, we, we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> like, like he did say... See, see you see on you Monday. On yeah, yeah, see you on Monday. Whatever he said. See you tomorrow, maybe. Who knows what the hell he said? He said maybe. Shins- Shinsuke doesn't understand Shinsuke. <laughs> yeah, he learned this. <laughs> and uh, you know, Tyler and Summer make it backstage as Rusev does indeed defeat Baron Corbin in 10:02 by submission with an accolade. When Tyler Breeze comes back out and he's like, he's going through the crowd. He's making sure Shinsuke doesn't pop up, and he and he throws. He throws a chair to Baron, and he's distracting the ref, and um, Rusev hits his, like, super kick thingy, like, through the chair, like, RVD style, you know what I mean? Like, he kicks the chair off of his skull, and then... Kind of, but, like, the Rusev kick, you know what I mean? The super kick type deal. And then the ref turns around, and it's like, oh, geez, one, two, three. Fast counts, apparently. Um, Screw shot. Is that Mike Kyoto? (laughs) Oh, he is. (laughs) No, Scott, Scott Armstrong's the str- the screwy ref. It depends on which which screw job we're talking about. Which one? Kyoto, Kyoto was the, the authorities ref. No, uh, Armstrong was. Hebner was. Um, Hebner was Montreal, and the authorities ref was Scott Armstrong. Hmm. He's the super old white guy. Aren't they all? Very true. Except for that one Asian one in NXT who's a girl. There's also a black ref. We like Black Ref. Commonly referred to as Black Ref and the Donut Man. John Cohn. Uh, Kevin Owens says, yes, I'm still on this show. Uh, he also says, um, Vince, give Cesaro his match. Do it. I, I don't want to fight the Miz. Because it, it's not going to be a fight against the Miz. It's going to be Miz will duck for a little bit. He'll run away. I'll catch him. I'll throw his ass to the mat. And I'll still be champion. Vince, it, I, I, uh, really, I'm looking out for you when I say this. Give Cesaro his match, because it, nobody's going to want to see The Miz get murdered at SummerSlam. Nobody's going to buy SummerSlam to watch The Miz get murdered <laughs> by Kevin Owens. The cards start chatting, we want to see it! <laughs> we will see The Miz get murdered! Please! <laughs> please! Kevin, please! They want to see... A competitive matchup for the most prestigious championship in all of Raw. <laughs> a single tear <laughs> treads down my eye. <laughs> they want to see Kevin Owens versus Antonio Cesaro for the World Heavyweight Championship. The people are like, well, I don't, I don't really care. So then Vince comes out. And Vince says, all right, I've made my decision. All of you shut the hell up with your bickering and shit. At the SummerSlam pay-per-view, Miz, you have a match. And Miz is like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, I do. New world champion. Vince is like, no, 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 Miz, Miz, Miz. You have a match. Miz is like, what? Okay. Whoop, whoop. And Vince is like, no, dude, it's not, it's not for the belt. And Vince and Miz is like, no, no, but you just said. And then Maurice is like, no, no, he didn't say it was for the belt. And Miz is like, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Yeah. What the fuck? What the hell? And he says, Miz, you will though be involved in the title picture. It's Miz, you will take on the man who I have watched for a very long time. (laughs) <laughs> a man who I have watched for a very long time and honestly I think he has a lot more potential than anybody's given him credit for Miz at the SummerSlam pay-per-view you will take on Adrian Neville and the winner of that match will go on to Unforgiven yeah yeah, yeah. to face the winner of the well, 
I guess that brings me to my next point. <laughs> what? Is that not how Vince would say it? He'd start talking about something and be like, well, actually, I got He's gotta... actually a good talker. But he's old now and he's senile, Vince. He's crazy. Those senos Ric Flair. He can actually still talk. Very true. Very true. Vince says, Cesaro, I, I'm not just giving you a world title shot. I, I made it very clear my thoughts on you. You've made it very clear your thoughts on me. So, Cesaro, if you want a world title match, you're going to work for it. I'm going to prepare a series of trials for you to complete. And if you complete every single one, I will give you your match some of these are not matches. at SummerSlam. Like Hopscotch trials. Oh, my like God. Balance trials. Buddy, I have, so, I have so much leeway with this. I can do whatever Eshi's I feel like. Castle trials. He has to play Sudoku. And so like he says, and he says, and Kevin, I don't know what you thought. You came out here, you know, telling me what to do. I'm Vince McMahon, damn it. I do what I want. So, so Kevin, guess what? If... Cesaro doesn't complete any of his challenges, any of the trials. If he fails one of the trials, you're not going to be on the SummerSlam card, Kevin. I won't have the world title defended if there is no no challenger. And Miz is like, what What the fuck, man? You just, what? what? And Vince is like, Miz, there's a time and a place. Brands in the crowd. He's like, we can fight a challenger. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, you want to come over here? And Vin, fight, uh... Vince says, Miz, there's a time and a place, and I'll tell you later. It's like, what? The crowd's like, what? What the fuck just happened? And he says, so there are your two matches potentially. The one confirmed one. Where are you, SummerSlam? Here you are. The one confirmed one, that being The Miz versus Adrian Neville. Number one contenders match for the World Heavyweight Championship. And the other one possibly being Antonio Cesaro versus Kevin Owens. Your move, Cesaro. Your move. Uh, flippy shit. Good flippy shit. Kalisto does the flippy shit. He beats the other flippy shit. Flippy shit. Flippy. Flippy. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Um. Los Ingobernables. Unscripted promo from Los Ingobernables, as I still don't know how to properly write for them. There, America. Exactly. Thank you. Jericho says, Steve, you've been ducking me week in, week out. I'm going to get you, Steve Austin. I'm going to get you. And when I get you... You're going to get got. You're going to get got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, my, my dog has erupted in the background. Seamus has defeated Elmer <laughs> Allen. <laughs> No one the Irish curse back for just so Irish. He just cursed him. <laughs> He's just like, you are going to die. And <laughs> Elmer's like, no, no. You are going to die. And then the beat just drops. <laughs> <laughs> and so does Elmer. Elmer just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Shaver just kind of like crawls over him and is like, all right, I'll take this win. <laughs> all right, then. Uh, so like Ricochet goes up to Neville backstage and he's like. Are, so like. What are we now? And Neville's like, can we, can, can we still be friends? Yeah, <laughs> Neville's <laughs> like, yeah, man. Like I'm willing to. If things don't go out the way we want them to, I'm I'm more than happy to to keep doing this with you. And Ricochet says, well, what if what if they do go the way we want them to? What what if what if you win the number contenders match? What if what if you go on to be champion? And Neville's like, well, I'll be waiting for you then. Rick Shea nods and the two talk about other shit as we pan away. <laughs> Here, Did you see the game on Saturday? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and here come the Brotherhood. Reigns. 
Ambrose versus Zack Ryder and Mojo Rawley is next. Very good. Very good. Very good. Mm, mm, mm. Primo. Bellissimo. Mm, mm, mm. The Brotherhood defeat the Hype Bros in 22-22 when Dean Ambrose feeds Mojo Rawley by pinfall with a dirty deeds as the birth two of their WWE World Tag Team titles. If that didn't work out, this can be awkward as shit. Um, yeah, I'm I'm very happy. Apparently Mojo's gimmicks already stale. Jesus. We don't, we can't stay high. It's too much effort. It's burning us out. Uh, 89A overall. People are hyped for SummerSlam. I'm very, I'm very happy about this show and how we're doing. Guts. Excellent. Yeah. And what are the, now you can't we're even We're out of time, it. folks. We'll see you guys on SmackDown. Breasts. <laughs>